Sewing supplies can be very, very expensive, but it doesn't have to be when you are a beginner sewer. These are five items that I use in my sewing room all the time that you probably already have at home. The first item that I highly recommend you find in your house already is some painter's tape. Painter's tape I use for two different reasons. The first, especially when you are a beginner sewer, I love to use this and lay it on my sewing machine so that my fabric can follow it alongside my sewing needle and I can have a nice straight seam allowance. Now, do not put it over those feed dogs. It will defeat the purpose of the feed dogs entirely because the feed dogs are there underneath your sewing foot to pull that fabric on through nice and gently. So do not stop those feed dogs with the tape. Now, the other way that I use painter's tape is by laying it on any quilts that I'm making. And then I can follow the painter's tape the same way that you would on your sewing machine, but I can follow it on the fabric so that I can get nice straight quilted lines. Now this next hack is a super cheap razor. Make sure that you are finding a razor that has no wire over the blades itself and preferably no extra lotions and potions on the razor as well. So what I use them for is to actually scrape away pilling of my fabric. I make a lot of rag quilts, and when you make rag quilts, you have to wash and dry them to finish that ragged process. But by doing that, often a bunch of pilling can end up on your blanket. But if you're giving it as a gift, it's actually really nice to remove that lint so that the blanket can look nice, new, and fresh. And the way that I do that is by using this little razor right here. Now this is another item that I use for two different purposes. I have a pair of plastic chopsticks that I keep in my sewing room at all times. You can definitely use some bamboo chopsticks as well if that's all you can get your hands on. Now these chopsticks I find very nice for actually turning my sewing projects from wrong side to right side. It just allows you to get your points nicely. Uh, you can definitely buy tools that can do this, but a chopstick does the job just as well. Another thing that you can use your chopstick for, I don't know why I swapped them, it's not like you can tell they're both blue, <laughs> but an, I use the other one by my sewing machine and I use it as a sewing stiletto. So a sewing stiletto is something that allows you to push your fabric on through. Sometimes your fabric can be quite thick or if you're turning at a corner and the fabric just doesn't want to move, you need to help that fabric along. But you don't want to get your fingers close to that sewing needle. So use yourself a chopstick and keep those fingers free and clear from that sewing needle. Now, all sewing machines, generally speaking, come with a little brush to help you clean out your sewing machine. But sometimes you need to get a little further in there than your brush will allow. I like to use a pipe cleaner for this and all I do is I fold that pipe cleaner in half and I twist it on the end and I create myself a nice little cleaner but it's a bit longer than the regular brush that you get. Now do this very gently because you do not want to be wrecking your sewing machine in the process. Do not use this sharp metal pointy end of the pipe cleaner only use the loop that you've created and it will allow you to clean out some extra lint from your sewing machine. Now before I tell you about number five, which is my all-time favorite item that I keep in my sewing room at all times, I do want to ask if you guys have any ideas of your own that you do when you are sewing different items that you find around the house or maybe at the dollar store, leave them in the comments down below. I am always looking for new ideas. And if you're interested, hit subscribe so you don't lose me on YouTube. I teach beginner sewing tutorials. All right, now for my all-time favorite. I use this guy, this three pound weight, all the time when I am sewing. I do not recommend going lower than a three pounder. I do not recommend going higher than a five pounder. But what I use this little guy for is by placing it on the end of my cutting ruler. And then I of course keep my hand closer to the bottom of the cutting ruler and I can use my rotary cutter to cut fabric without my ruler sliding around. This is vital for allowing me to cut straight lines with my fabric. I hope you guys enjoyed that list of five fun sewing items that you might already have at home, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.